Hey, Susef here. Ever since I have been introduced to Cupix Vista, I've been leveraging the 3D scans from these tiny pocket 360 cameras for my side visits. If you want to see these cameras capabilities with Cupix Vista, you can check out my first video and I'll leave its link in the description. And I'm also glad that Cupix Vista is sponsoring this video again to introduce a couple more things that I have missed, as well as a few new things as Cupix Vista received some updates. Let's take a peek at these supported cameras. In addition to the Insta360 ONE X2, you can use Insta360 ONE RS for the best image quality. And for Ricoh Theta X, you can see it supports the onboard GPS. Rico has provided this camera for me to give it a spin. So I took this to several site visits for 3D scans and it has been great, especially because of the GPS feature. First of all, you should turn the camera on and wait for it to show the GPS to be activated. It will first show the outlined arrow, then it will appear white filled arrow when the GPS is activated. It won't take too long, but you can also prep your phone whilst it is configuring with the rest of the process. Simply download Cupix Vista's Vista Capture app, and this is available for both iOS and Android. Once you open the app, turn your camera on, you can connect the app to your camera, then it will show you that it is ready to capture. Confirm you got the GPS signal, then you can start capturing. The timer will now start. You can now start scanning just like how you have been. Since I have gone over this process in more depth, you can refer to the process that I showed in the last video. And when you are done with this walking around, slide the button to finalize the capture. You can then unload the file to Cupix Vista for processing and you'll get a notification when the processing is done. You can simply download the CPC file from there. Then you can view the file via Vista Point. Since this file had the GPS data, you will see there is now the Earth icon, the map view on the left, click on it. Then your scan will show in the right spot inside of a map. If this was a scan in an area with a good satellite image, you can see that your scan shows in the correct spot in relative to the map. Simple yet effective. It is much easier to get the correct context for your scans now. Let's have a look at a couple more examples. So this is how it used to be and this is how I have scanned and superimposed on top of that image. Another one here and then superimposed image over here. In addition to now utilizing the GPS, Cupix Vista now supports textured mesh. The scans used to be somewhat difficult to read as they were shown with the colored points rather, but now by default, the scans will be shown as a mesh. This helps to show much cleaner surfaces, which helps to read what is really going on. And the images are much more clear as you can see here. And ultimately, more file formats with mesh can now be exported. You can export as an OBJ and GLB mesh and E57 point cloud has been added recently as well. And as I said, there was something that I had missed mentioning before. If you click on the footprint icon on the left, it enables the first person mode. Then things can be viewed in a first person point of view. Since the cleaner texture mesh is now supported, you can have the much better visibility of the space that you have scanned. This may not be perfect, but not bad for a 10 minute walk of the site. You can use WASD to navigate around the model, just like how we move around in 3D models and games. Try this on large interior spaces as well as the landscape areas. When combined with the 360 views, it becomes a useful tool to get a good understanding of how things were later on. You can also verify your site conditions within your 3D model this way. I have been bringing in these point clouds into Recap for importing into Revit. Make sure you export the files into .xyz format and you can easily process this with Recap. If you export as a .ply or E57 point cloud, you can import into SketchUp via Scan Essentials, but I still find point cloud workflows inside SketchUp to be somewhat clunky as it is quite hard to adjust geometry. However, since Cupix Vista can now export mesh, you can import the mesh file using .glb file format, file, import, 3D, 
Then just select the one that you exported from the Vista point. Then you can simply add a section to see inside the box. I think this is so much better for providing the site context. If this was my project, I can just cut away the bits that I don't need inside of SketchUp. My friends at Cupix Vista have told me that the official release date of Cupix Vista is quite near. Until then, Cupix Vista will still remain to be free. I understand that it is still going to be quite an affordable fee for the 3D scanning service, but free is better than any fee. So sign up and enjoy whilst it is still free. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.